Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. Okay, y'all, let's get started transforming some thrift store finds. The first find is this metal wall pocket. And I love wall pockets, and especially this time of the year, to store some florals and greenery. It was $4.99. All I did was I went over it with some white chalk paint. I put a couple of layers on it. I let it dry. Then I'm going to go around and I'm going to distress it using a damp rag. Anytime you want to distress metal, it's always recommended do not use sandpaper because it will scratch. So the best way to distress your metal pieces are just get a damp rag, go around, wipe the paint off where you want it, and that's all you have to do. Just make sure to keep your rag clean as you go and you should get some great results. The next item I'm going to transform is going to be these candle holders. And a lot of times you can find different kinds of candle holders in the thrift store and they're very inexpensive. These were $4.99. Now I'm just going to bring these outside. I'm going to go over them with some Rust-Oleum spray paint and I'm using some that I already have on hand. I'm going to go in and use this up and I thought this was a pretty color. It's called Heirloom White. So it's not a stark white and it's not really... You know, it's more of a creamy white, so I thought it was really pretty. I put a couple of coats on them. I let them dry. Now we've got some great candle holders that we can use as pedestals, risers, or of course we can put candles on them. Another item you're going to see in today's video is this rabbit. Now, I had eyed him for a long time, but he got bad negative reviews. But a lot of people, their expectations was that he was going to be three-dimensional three with a frame around him. And then I think they thought he was going to be a larger size. I saw a lot of people on social media that had ordered it. And they had displayed it, and I thought it was beautiful. So I went ahead and ordered it, and I will have this listed in my Amazon store. And it also comes in a pink so if you're interested in a different color they have you know a couple more selections so if you're looking for a pretty decor piece for your spring vignettes i highly recommend this one okay y'all the next project i'm going to have to ask y'all a serious question <laughs> do y'all know the difference between silver and silver plated well i do not but i'm trying to learn i'm doing some google research and i'm trying to find methods of how you can test different pieces that we may find at the thrift store to see if we should paint them or if we should leave them like they are. One of the methods was you can get a magnet. Real silver will repel ma a magnet. If it is silver plated, the magnet will stick to it. Well, this, as you can see, is sticking to this piece. So I'm going to take this one and I am going to paint the round one. This one right here, the magnet fell off, but I am still not convinced that is real silver. But I am going to go ahead, I'm going to spray paint this one. I'm going to go around with a couple of layers and I'm going to spray paint it white. Here I'm giving you some decor ideas of how you can style a piece like this. If you find it in the thrift store, you can paint it whatever color you want. And just giving you some ideas of how pretty it will style, just giving it a fresh coat of paint. Now the next way I'm going to show you is we're going to add a little bit of detail to it. There's a lot of new spring release transfers, and I'm going to have a link to these transfers down below, but these are absolutely beautiful. So if you're interested in some beautiful spring transfers to put on your projects, I'm going to have some available to you. But I'm going to add this one, and that's the fun part about transfers. They come in a sheet, but you can cut off whatever you want and whatever will fit your project. I cut this one down, I put this on the center of my tray, I applied it, and now look how beautiful this looks. It gives my tray a whole different look. So now it is going to be so pretty styled out in my spring and my summer vignettes. Now, 
Next, I'm going to show y'all a really easy and fun way to dress up and embellish your little bird nest. Just take whatever kind of little bird nest you have, and I've got a few little eggs in mine. And then this is like a little crystal light um, candle ring that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I either got it around Christmas time or I got it on the wedding aisle. But check Hobby Lobby for that. And I also got this wired strand of pearls there. So Hobby Lobby has a great selection of little things that you can embellish your bird nest with. So just wrap those around, stick them on your bird nest, and now you've got a great little embellishment to set around. And it just really takes your little bird nest to the next level. Now I'm going to ask y'all another question. Do y'all know the difference in brass and, and stuff that looks like brass or whatever you call it if it's not brass? This piece right here, I thought it was brass, so I picked it up. I took it to my friend Steven, and he told me it was not brass. He did tell me what it was made of, and I can't remember, and it did have rust on the side. And he said, if it's true, brass is not going to rust. So, he said, you're good to go on and just paint this piece. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give a couple of coats of some spray paint. On this one, I'm just going to use Rust-Oleum. I think I'm using a flat finish. I gave it a couple of coats. I'm going to take it inside and just show you how easy it is to upcycle a little piece like this for spring and summertime. Once I got my paint to dry, now I'm going to add a really pretty transfer to it. And I'm also going to have these transfers list linked below. Now, these are absolutely beautiful because these transfers are a very muted, very pretty pink. And this little slogan right here reminds me of spring and summer talking about flowers and garden seeds. And another item I'm always on the hunt for at the thrift store is little shabby chic vintage dishes. I looked up on these the other day, I picked them up, and now I'm going to style them in my little planner that I just upcycled. Okay, no more serious questions about, about metals and, <laughs> and their quality. Now let's get back to doing some thrift flips. I thrifted this house from Salvation Army, and it was $2. I'm going to remove this wreath, and it was very easy to do. It was just stapled on with a piece of ribbon. I just cut that off. I painted the whole thing white, and now I'm going to add another wreath that I have. And I'm just kind of making a placement just to see how everything will fit on my house. I'm using my favorite bird stamp that I'll have linked to my Amazon store. I added some black ink. I always go around with a baby wipe just to remove any excess so it doesn't get on my project. And then you just want to adhere it. And I'm just going to put it down here at the bottom of the house because I will have my wreath at the top. And I think this just made such a beautiful addition. And I think this little bird stamp is perfect for spring and summer. Now we're really going to get our creative juices flowing. Y'all, I saw this. These little crates or drawers, whatever these are, and I, this was my inspiration picture. I'm not sure if I've seen this on Pinterest or Instagram, but that is not my photo, but that is my inspiration. So I went around my home and I gathered up what wood crates that I had, and I kind of stacked them the way that I wanted to display them. 
Those are three that I have thrifted at thrift stores, and a lot of them were like $2. I paid $1.99 each for them. Now I'm just going to take some pieces of some transfers that I already have, and that's what I always try to encourage y'all to do. Kind of look around in your supplies and use things that you may already have. But I'm looking through my transfers, and I want some that I want some more um, white kind of flowers or some pink ones. These right here, I will um, try to link these below, but these have been discontinued, so I don't know if you can any no longer get this um, particular transfer. I will try to link some down below that are very similar if you would like to, you know, get some like these. Now, these right here are brand new. So, these are a new release. So, these are available. So, I will definitely link these below. But I love the pinks on these. I just cut one out that I felt like would go really well with my white flower. I placed it on my crate where I felt like, you know, I wanted to put it. And this was a really fun project working on these little crates because the wood color really shows up these whites and these pinks on these florals. Now, you just want to take your transfer tool that's always included with your transfers and just apply your transfer, and they are very easy to apply. Now, once I got that applied, I'm just kind of still going, you know, by my, my inspiration picture, and it had some French writing on those little crates. So, I'm just going to take parts of this transfer because I'm trying to use up the things that I already have. In transfers, a lot of times, if you have pieces, the pieces will not store well. They get damaged, so I try to use them up as quick as I can. So, I'm just taking this little French writing that was on that one with the white flower. I'm going to apply it, and that will, you know, kind of be on that side. And I thought this turned out so pretty. You know, I'm going to put this crate, I'm going to put it where the flat side is at the top. And then that way I can stack my other crates on top. Now this little crate right here, I'm going to put this transfer on the opposite end just to kind of give it more dimension, you know, when I stack them. And I think this flower right here is absolutely beautiful. It looks kind of like, I guess it's a white magnolia, but I placed it right there in the corner. I applied it to the crate using my little transfer tool. And then I'm going to get another one. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to apply it right next to it. And this, this crate right here, I think out of all three, I think this one may have turned out to be my favorite. I don't know. I ended up, I liked all of them, and I was so, <laughs> I was so glad I saw that inspiration picture because I would have never thought to do this. Now, I'm adding a transfer um, that I have that has a lot of little um, French labels on it, and I'll try to link it down below if it's still available. And I'm just adding it just to give it that writing on one side of my flowers. Now, on this one, this is going to be my top crate. Now, this is an IOD transfer, and I will have it linked down below. But my friend Jackie, she sells all the IOD transfer books. So, make sure, I'll make sure to have her website linked down below. And this right here is from that new release, this pink one. And so, I'm just going to add another one of these just so I can keep the white florals and the, and the pinks going. Because like I say, I think they show up so well on this wood color. Now, every time you add a transfer, I always like to go over with a little clear sheet, and this is called burnishing. It just makes sure, makes it just assures that your transfer is transferred down really well, and it just kind of, you know, it just works it in down on your project a little bit better. Now, I applied those roses, and then I'm going to add some French writing over here on the side. Now, I went in and just had fun with it. And over on the side where I had my florals, I had some little bitty florals, and I just kind of went in, and I just kind of added a few of those at random. But like I say, just get fun with it. Use the things you may have on hand, and, and just create your crates any way you want to. The little crate that's on the top, I've, I've added a transfer to it in a previous video, so I just kind of stacked it because I felt like it kind of went in this little family. And now I think this makes a great display that's so unique and beautiful for spring and summertime. The next item I'm going to flip is another thrifted find. And you find these little metal boxes a lot of times at the thrift store and they're very inexpensive. 
I paid $2.99 for this one. And this was just like a little Dremel tool box. You can see right there, I think, you know, it probably held some kind of like little Dremel tool. And I picked it up and I've had it in my supplies for a little while. Well, I took it out. I gave it a couple of coats of flat Rust-Oleum white spray paint. And now I'm gonna use another one of these beautiful transfers. All you do with your transfers is just cut them apart with your scissors and just cut off the piece that you want. Now I'm just gonna take this one that had the beautiful butterfly and it actually fit perfect on the top of this little metal box. So I'm just gonna apply it and now we got a beautiful piece that we can set out and it goes really well with our round tray that we previously made. Okay, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, I have a new YouTube channel, y'all, so make sure to go over and subscribe to it, Teresa Green. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel also so we can stay connected. I've got a lot of content coming your way. As always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.